Hey everybody, I hope you guys are all doing okay. Welcome back to another episode of Ali Solves, where we are going to be taking on the Sunday crossword for April 28th, 2024 by Mike Ellison. Before I get into it, I should mention the title that I've given this episode, the title in the thumbnail, is about how the streak almost died. And you might be saying, hey, don't you usually come up with titles after you're done? Or, I mean, you would think I usually come up with titles after I'm done with the episode. Because I don't know what's going to happen. Is it going to be easy? Is it going to be tough? Is there, is there going to be some really memorable clue that I you know, feel like I've got to put in, into the title? Things like that. You might be wondering, how is it, Ali, that you not only have a title before you've started this puzzle, but... You're talking about how the streak almost died. Are you just clickbaiting? And I guess you can say it's kind of clickbait, but it's also true. The thing is, the streak did nearly die, but not because of this puzzle, but because of a puzzle earlier in the week. And uh, the way this episode is going to work is we're going to start out just doing a... Uh, this puzzle and who knows who knows this puzzle might end up being really difficult and this might be the second time that the streak either almost dies or maybe does actually die uh, we'll see but when we're done with this puzzle we will then go into the archives and you know just a few days uh, uh, back in the archives and I will show you the puzzle that nearly killed the streak and why it nearly killed the streak and why the fact that the streak is still alive is a complete stroke of luck. So in the video description, I'm going to put a, a timestamp. Like if you're really interested just to see that part of it, if you want to know how and why the streak almost died, you can skip ahead. But I will be doing this regular puzzle as well, because I, f I feel like it, it wouldn't feel right to do a video just talking about a puzzle that I've already solved. I don't want to actually do something in the video itself, so this is going to be going to be kind of like a like a double feature. And of course, I'm doing this on a Saturday, which is why it's showing me the Saturday statistics. Um, you can, of course, the way the New York Times releases it, they release the puzzles. Um, in the evening of the day before the puzzle is actually listed. So the Sunday crossword comes out on Saturday. You know, Saturday comes out on Friday. So, like, you, you know how the, day, the days of the week work, right? With all of that said, let's jump in to uh, this puzzle. Hang on, let me close some of the... Uh, unnecessary stuff that I had open. Let me just make sure if the recording is going fine. It seems to be going fine. And yeah, we're just gonna jump in. Let's do it. How is this one gonna go? I am using my USB keyboard, so th it should be a bit more... Uh, it shouldn't have any, you know, faulty keys like my laptop keyboard, and it should also be a bit more comfortable. Cartoon Dums, Princess of Power. I think this might be Shira, like Thundercats, maybe. Chinese Province. Mm, I don't know. Rouse could be Stir. We've got some. Uh, the Sounds of Music is the the uh, uh, title of this puzzle. So we could be. What I'm gonna guess. Just based on the fact that we have uh, shaded squares, and all of the shaded squares seem to be um, two uh, squares side by side, or well, like one on top of the other. It might be like uh, that the things that are go going to go into those squares might be letters for the musical notes. Like, you know, do, re, mi, that kind of thing? Could be. Could be. Hey, hang on. Is, is this not a stir? What a conductor might wear to a concert. Hmm. 
what guacamole often costs. I'm gonna hang. Oh, I, I think I was correct, but not in the way that I thought. That I thought. Guacamole often is an extra cost at a restaurant. And this is going to be Toxi, and in the uh, last two squares, we're going to have to put in dough. Tuxedo. Groupies. Hmm. So again, split. Do re. How do you spell? Ray, oh, this could be, uh, could be adoring fans, something like that. Comparative, that's an inadvisable starting choice in Wordle. I think what they mean is rarer, because you're... It's a, it's a pointless gamble putting three of the same letter in your first wordle guess. Although the one day when the answer really is rare, you know, you'll uh, look like a genius, but usually most days it's not going to be, right? So I'm pretty confident in this answer. But then, what is this? Get hitched again is going to be re-wed. So let's see. Or it could be like re-tie or something. Oh, split is going to be in something. This is going to be Hunan. Like, I don't know much about which specific regions Chinese cuisine or like which specific regions which specific parts of Chinese cuisine comes from split could be in in two is what I would have said oh actually I think I think I see what's going on tuxedo because D-O downwards, tuxedo, hmm, something, something funny is going on. Because this has got to be adoring fans. This has to be. And then, maybe for the topmost one, you have to read it going down. For the bottommost one, you just read it going across. And this is going to be Nadir. Zenith, Zenith, Zen, Zenith's opposite, or Zenith. I, I think both of those are correct. One of them might be a British one. Irritate could be Ryle. Some kicks. I think they're talking about shoes, so it's probably going to be Nikes. Russell. Hmm, I'm not sure if I know this. I, I'm very bad when it comes to actor names. Like many roofs, probably going to be shingled. Is Kerry? Kerry? Is that a, a name? I mean, it's a name, but is that this person's name? Who knows? Needle holder. No clue. N this is going to be, obviously, Nina. Simone. I think this is the name of the company, maybe. Bit of living, uh, living room footage, gonna be home something. Now, needle holder. Still don't know. Cut back or an alternative title for this puzzle. I think it's gonna be scaled down. And, and uh, I guess that's the hint that you have to read it going downwards. Now, what is this? I'll be with you shortly. Oh, oh, conifer, right? Like, talking about, like, plant needles. So this could be Kerry. What is this? 
Oh, uh, Le Mans, right? Uh, the only reason I know this is... Uh, well, I mean, I knew it before as well, but the reason why it's more prominent in my mind is uh, because I watched Ford versus Ferrari a couple years ago. Great, great movie. Um, I think it's going to be emo, probably pop. Scotch sampling is going to be a sip. Oh, not... There we go. First... When, oh, Domo Arigato, Mr. Roboto. I'll be with you in a moment. All right. That's pretty obvious, but sometimes it takes a moment for even obvious things to, you know, be realized. All right. Home movie. All right. That's probably going to be that. Settings for timers, probably ovens. And doing mess hall duty. This is one of those things that I only know because of crosswords, but I think it's going to be on KP, I think. It's going to be Rip Van Winkle, maybe. Net Pay. Hit with as a fine slap. Let's scroll down a little bit. This is going to be I something. Audience to an advertiser. I think I've heard this term in marketing lingo. Eyeballs. Mark Hamill. Was it 1M and 2Ls or 2Ms and 1L? Maybe this is going to help us up. Or, or maybe not. More subdued. Well, it's going to be something ER. Guitar. Chords? I mean, not those kinds of chords. Not chord CH, but just C O R D. Um, I'm like strings, right? But there's not enough room to put that. Queen of Rock and Roll. I should know who this is, but I've forgotten. Let, let's look at this. I think this is. I don't remember all the details, but the only thing that fits is Athos? Athos? Something like that? I mean, this is going to be a. Uh, S T something. A Gregorian song. It's probably a chant. Narrow soccer victory is going to be one nil. One could argue that even narrower than that would be winning on penalties, but I guess let's let's not get too technical. This is this is fine. Um, Musicals beginning is going to be Act 1. This is going to be Tamer. Classic. So we're going to be using these two letters, I think. Insp what? Classic tune inspiring a joke about eels? Oh, this is going to be Itina. Yeah, of course. And then there's going to be two L's. Straps. Ah, yes, of course. And, and Goof is going to be Slip. Buster. Grocery checkout staple. I think Gum? Buster could be Bud. Comic P... What? Comic pianist once known as the Clown Prince of Denmark. I have no idea who this is. I mean... What? Oh, that's Amore. Uh, that's Amore. That's the one, right? When the moon hits... You. That's, I'm not, I'm not going to sing it, but I, that's, the, that's the one, right? I think that's the one. Doctor's Note, 
perhaps. And I think for this, we're just writing it as a normal word. The end could be fin. Ages upon ages could be eon. And corporate move is a relo, relo, whatever that is. Musical slide could be gl glisson. No, I think that's how you do it, that. Footwear retailer founded in Montreal. I don't, I don't know. Um, doctor's note. Uh, hmm. To the point. Could be terse. Uh, ExxonMobil. I think this is Esso. Trees. That can... What? Grow multiple acres wide? Oh, I think this could be bunion, uh, bunion trees. Uh, let's let's think about that. Like bossa nova or salsa. This could be Latin. Ah, uh, yeah, because I think this is probably going to be Neil. And then this probably is this a? Oh, could this be a Y? And the answer is correct because toodles is probably. See, yeah. Where is it? Aldo? And this is probably like a, either a referral or a deferral. My suspicion is that if it was a deferral, this would spell dodge. Unless Buster is something else, but what else could it be other than Bud? And Dodge, they would not have given it this clue. I, I And I don't think, I don't know much about Danish names, but I don't, th that doesn't sound plausible as a, like, like someone, it's probably not going to be just named Dodge, right? At least... I don't think so. Anyway, let's hold off on that for now. Don't know this, but this is probably Aldo. Hats worn by Napoleon. Autumn colors. It's going to be fall something. Um, maybe? Anyway, let's, let's take a look at what this might be. Science exhibition. Let's, let's take a look at this. Rapper. Oh, uh, some Khalifa, right? Doremi Fa, all right. Science exhibition is F fair? Science fair? Could be. Kind, what? Kind of billiards with no pockets. So let's just put all of this stuff in. Oh, I think Faro and uh, Fiera sounds right. Something like that. Man, let I me mean, you know. I'm not. I'm not that confident yet. It's Wiz Wiz Khalifa, right? Part of a battleship guess. Row along with the column. Um, classical singers going to be sirens from the Odyssey, I believe. Uh, they're the ones who are singing in Odysseus. Uh, knew that they would tempt him, and I, he ordered his uh, crew to tie him so that when he heard their siren song he wouldn't do anything rash no, I think I think it worked out pretty well for him in the end Gladys Knight's backup group I have no idea so let's take a look at this yeah zips oh brief instant is gonna be sec Featured performances. 
Hmm. Expels. Oh, showcases. Sweetened corn meal and Mexican cuisine. Um, take a look at that. Some special ops personnel. Seals? Navy Seals. Don't know what this is. Vegetable... The dinosaur variety. I don't know. Slopes attire representing overall. It's gonna be ski something. Kale. Alright. Dinosaur kale? I guess I just never heard of it. Oh, not, not keel. Uh, kale. And then... Sean Lennon. This is gonna be that guy. Alright. Oh, whose performances were as astonishing as All Get Out? That's obviously Houdini, because he was an escape artist. He was literally getting out. I have no idea who Randy Travis is, so you know what? Reference online, no idea. Next symphony? Ninth or tenth? Uh, tenth, right? Because like his ninth was his last. Quattro multiplied by do. So quattro is obviously four. Do is obviously two. So it's going to be... You can. This is where you can use a bit of a, a reasoning, even if you don't know what it exactly is. So you, we know that quad and like duo these are things in english as well so other english prefixes like numerical prefixes are also likely to resemble the stuff in this language for eight we have octo and this isn't quite octo but it, it's pretty close enough could be otto mm, i'll uh i'll hold off on that I don't know how, I don't know what this is going to be. Let's take a look at this. I, I still don't know. Term in both finance and linguistics. I think it's going to be loan, like loan word, probably. I don't know very much about Beyonce. Uh, this is probably going to be I something. Hmm. Cash coffers is going to be tills. I was actually at a drag show uh, last week, last weekend, I think. And they, one of the, I think a couple of the performers did, did a Beyonce songs. But I just was not really paying enough attention, I guess. Reference online. Uh, it's still not seeing this. Suspicious informally. Don't know. Exec in tech is going to be CTO. Is it though? Is this wrong? I mean, no, surely... Tills is correct. All right. Hmm. No. Okay. Let's. Uh, let's see. Grammy winning. So, I mean, you'd think I'd have at least heard the name. Okay. So I think this is Wiz Khalifa. So let, let's. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what this thing is. That would have helped a lot. Alright, let's, uh, you know, let's just carry on. Talk smack about, but I don't know. Written in code. Hard to tell. It's got a question mark, so it's going to be uh, like a wordplay thing. Flat formation. Not sure. Beatles hairdos. I think they were called, like, m mops. 
flat formation. This could be a, a, a mesa, mesa, something like that. Flex, flexible position. I think they're talking about the yoga position. Asana, tableau. Maybe not because maybe this is slate. But let let's. Uh, Oh, let's hold off on that because I think this is going to be one scoop so so far this checks out cuts off is going to be severs tableau is probably a scene right written in code what oh enacted like written into the uh, the legal code like the penal code the tax code that kind of thing one of a trio of famous tenors, obviously this is going to be Pavarotti, the other one was Domingo, I, I don't remember the third one, So th and T does check out. And this is going to be the optic chiasm. Uh, I actually did know about this. Jockish sword is probably a bro. Campus military program is going to be ROTC. Rogers and Hammerstein's only musical written for TV. No idea. Small lump. Don't know. Uh, one thing that's troubling me is the fact that what we're talking smack about is going to be trash. Oh, it's CIO, like Chief Informational. In information officer. I was thinking CTO, like Chief Technology Officer. Suspicious? H-I-N? You know, let's do this first. Crescendo. What? Something? But this is gonna be Link Two, and this is at least going to start with OTT. So let's see. I mean, you know what? Maybe this is going to help us out. Weep. Do, re, mi, fa. So it's probably going to be sob. Staccato marking could be a dot. Mm. This, this, this could be a tick. Let's, let's see. Oh, this could be I told you so. Auto hinky? Is that a, is that a thing? What else could it be? Could, we're limited to vowels. So, hanky? I don't think CAO is a thing. E... Henky doesn't feel right, and CEO would have been something else entirely. I is what we have. COO, that could be a thing. That's a thing, like Chief Operating Officer. Honky. Would you, would you call a suspicious? I know, like, honky is also like a slur or like a... I mean, I, I don't, I don't know if anyone even, like people call white people honky, but like that's not what I meant. I was just, I was literally just going through these uh, options. So let's not even worry about. It. It's probably not C O O. I don't think that specifically has like a technological angle to it. And then the last one would be C U O, which again I don't think it is a thing. And hunky would have been something else entirely. Okay, this could be Halo. Right? The... Hmm. The P-I something. The Pies? The Pims? The Pips? The Pits? It could be literally anything. Uh, yeah, because this isn't really helping me out too much. Let's move on to the rest of the puzzle. And you know what? I'm gonna... Like, deferral makes no sense um, in terms of being a doctor's note. Referral makes more sense. Oh, Buster could be Bub. 
And this makes more sense as a name. At least... I think. We can always change it to a D if we're... Uh, if we finish the puzzle and, and we learn that that's not correct. Don't know what this is. Mangy Mutt is going to be a cur. Disorienting thing to wake up from. Not sure. Short request at a salon. Not sure what that is either. Um, small lump? Not sure what that is either. Pollen carrier could be a B. Marketplace called Auction Web could be eBay. I mean, it has to be eBay. Some. Not sure. Percussive shaker. Is there anything to wake up from? I think this is gonna be a maraca, right? Hotel room freebie. I iron maybe? Bumpkin is gonna be yokel. Some Go driving. Could be take something. Some could be a bit. Oh, is this could be bad dream. Small lump. Could be nub. Cinderella. Makes sense, kind of. Pioneer in electricity, uh, in electricity is probably Tesla. Gazing angrily could be a glare. Fabled monster is probably Ogre. Breaking Bad and The Wire are both dramas. Bumpy Ride with the question mark is going to be a camel, I think, because it's talking about the, uh, the humps on the camel. I think this is going to be Urals. I think this is going to be uh, obviously some kind of cut. Bob cut? Trumpet is going to be Blair. Alright. So this is going to be an iron. But I don't think you can just take the iron with you, right? Maybe I'm wrong? I mean, they let you use it for free, but I don't know if I'd call it a freebie because I mean they let you use well I was gonna say they let you use the bed as well but that's one of the things you're paying for specifically yeah, like it's it's part of the room that you're paying for I don't know we, we could get, like derail this entire episode talking about semantics but let's not worry about it too much destroyer of a castle perhaps I think we're talking about sand castles, so it's going to be ocean something. Let's take a look at this. Autumn colors, fall, new waves, Adam, and fall. This is going to be fall tones. Take a go driving. Admits it's probably cops to ocean tide. I think. Mounted on is probably going to be a stride? No, maybe. Well, hang on, let's see. This is because this probably is take a spin. Oh, oh god, I lost my place on the keyboard. Golf, gimme. It's going to be a tap in. One of a. What? One of a trio of famous Catherines. I'm not sure. Hats worn by Napoleon. Still don't know. Let's take a look at this. Like musical mixes that overly emphasize bass notes. Maybe this isn't a stride. Well, hang on. Then what? what is this? Ski... 
aquí. Like, this has to be tech. Ski what? Ski bib? Like, bottom something? And, like, I know carom is a, a, a term. Um, I think scow is a thing. Question asked. Bottom heavy, alright. Yeah. Throwback hit. Not sure. Mar. Salas, family patriarch. Not sure if I know who who that is. Easy on me. Is that is that Adele? Maybe. Email folder. Spam. Or sent. Because then that makes Adele work. Female fox is going to be a vixen. Necessary necessity for beer or bread is gonna be yeast. Is this gonna be Alexa? Yep, this is gonna be Alexa. And now let's take a look at that. Oldie, and this is gonna be Adele. I don't. Ellis? I mean, we can... See that. Who am I? Alright, oh, so Miles. My, obviously Miles Davis. Come on, Ali. Get, get your head in the game. Ah, oh, this is going to be by Corns. This is probably going to be a, a, a tap in, I do believe. Now this... Let's think about this. Can we... Because if I don't get it correct... I mean, we can keep trying until we get it. The... Let's think about it. The pips? Mm, the pits? The pins? There are too many... Uh, uh, A, B... See the picks. I mean, it could be so many. I just, I just don't know. Uh, probably not D E F G. The pigs, maybe. H I J K. With the, the picks with the K, maybe. Who knows? L probably not. M probably not. N maybe. P maybe. R probably not. S probably not. The the piss that be, that would be a great name for a backing group. The piss. I I don't think that's it though. I wish I knew what this was because that would help us out a lot. T. W X Y Z. All right. So I guess we're just gonna. I'm just gonna run the alphabet on this. What? C D F G H I J K L M N O P Q R oh, what Q R S T U V W X Y Z now, interestingly, it's not acknowledging the end of the puzzle. I wonder if that means I haven't... No, because scale down, fall tones. The, the, the tones are being read downwards. 
Who am I? Glissando. Samore. Wiz Khalifa. I told you so. Tuxedo. T. La. That. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. We're missing. So. But I guess it's just so and not S O L. Do I don't know. So uh, needle and thread. All right. It it is. It doesn't have an L. All right. Ski bib. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. Maybe this is uh, bugging out a little bit. I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go back in. And now we're gonna try this again. It's still. It's still not. You know what? I'm gonna open this on my phone. And just to make sure there aren't any issues, I'm gonna close this on here. I'm gonna open it on the phone. Let's take a look. Oh, it hasn't. Now it has. Now it has. Oh, okay. I see what happened. The puzzle wasn't complete. The puzzle wasn't complete. It didn't skip to the next unfinished clue because we never put this. We never put this. Now, kind of billiards with no pockets. I mean, uh, carom... I know carom is a thing that happens in that kind of sport, but I don't... Yeah, let's put that. Like, But then... Like, is this... Is this an old thing? I don't know. Let's, let's see. Let's run the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I... J K L M N O P Well, the pips. It was the pips. I mean, and it was indeed Karam. Well, it was indeed this very strange thing. So, there are a few clues in this puzzle that are new to me. This one is new. This one, I kind of knew, and that helped me get this. This one, uh, I have no idea who, the, who this is. I mean, I've heard this name, but I don't know if I would have ever recognized this specific name in any clue, so I'd, I'd always just be struggling or, with the, uh, and relying on crosses, struggling with, you know, who it could be. Good call. Changing this from bub from bud to bub and the pips. This almost makes me think it's pinhole, but no, it's it's this. I'm not even sure how you'd pronounce it. I'm not even gonna try. I, I wonder if I've seen this in the puzzle before. I might have. So let's appreciate and acknowledge this puzzle for a bit because pretty soon we're gonna have to move on to part two the second you know the second thing we're trying to do, do today because I'm gonna have to switch gears and talk about a previous puzzle from this week but let's just admire the uh, puzzle that's been put together by Mike Ellison it was really well done I it took me a while to figure out how exactly the theme was going to be implemented. I was on the right track very early on with it being musical notes. Uh, but then it took a while to figure out, okay, this clue has to be read like this. This clue just has to be read this way. And the way it was further justified was through these um, revealers, kind of. Um, 
scale down, fall tones, like the tones are falling, scale down, like the scale's going downwards. So the puzzle does help you out a little bit, even if you haven't figured it out yourself. Yeah. And uh, honestly, honestly, I'm pretty happy. I'm glad that we didn't have to struggle for ages. <laughs> you know, I'm glad I put Karam. My other thought was going to be like, what would make sense as a name here? And I was going to say like Sierra or Fiera would have been a thing, but I was like, you know, let me trust my instinct because I know this is a thing in billiards. That's a weird, weird name for a for a car, I assume. Yeah, I liked it. Fun, fun puzzle, and of course, importantly, the uh, streak remains intact. Now, we will close out by doing the mini. But before we do the mini, let me stay true to my word and show you the puzzle that nearly killed the streak. The puzzle that nearly killed the streak was earlier this week. It was, in fact, the, I guess, these guys, they start the week on Sunday, which is odd. But if we follow the way weeks work, for most normal people, like Sunday is the last day. And if we think earlier in this week, you know, this week that went from this Monday to this Sunday, it was the Wednesday. The Wednesday that nearly killed my streak. Now, if I go inside, it should tell me how long I took. 44 minutes. It might not seem long, but I usually do Wednesdays in at most 15 minutes. So this is a very, very long time for a puzzle. Now, let's take a look at this. It had some difficult clues. Um, I guess maybe not difficult clues, but just some names that I didn't know. Like, see, I, I, I'm awful with actor names. I didn't know Ethan Hawke. And I didn't know what the currency of Laos was. I was just guessing and I, I got lucky. I didn't know what West Elm was. Uh, and I didn't know who actor Simu, Simu, like what their last name was, but, but I, again, I got lucky because it gives you a hint. They're like, okay, it's a tree related name. I was like, okay, it's got to be Elm. And let's talk about the theme of this puzzle. So first of all, the puzzle has lateral symmetry and um, the uh, wordplay blog uh, for the day of this puzzle talked about how most puzzles normally have rotational symmetry, meaning if you swap them 180 degrees, they'll look identical. But this one, if you rotate it 180 degrees, it won't be identical, it'll be upside down. It's symmetrical along, you know, the, uh, the middle, so like a mirror symmetry. And also, these words, these clues, also have some sort of symmetry going on, like Maui, Hawaii, wait, what, Mama Mia, hoity toity, maximum, and moi, ha ha. I, I'm still not a hundred percent sure how this kind of symmetry actually works, other than you know the first part of it is kind of like the second part, like. Maui, Hawaii, but Mwahaha sounds kind of different because isn't like Mwahaha all written as all one word? Like it's not two different. Any, anyway, I kind of figured out how that was going to go. That's not the part that tripped me up. The part that tripped me up is this clue or this combination of clues. Let's start with this. A bottomless pit, as soon as I got some of the crosses, I was like, obviously, it's gonna be abyss. Uh, so I just put that down. I just put it down. I was like, that has to be it. And when I started filling in this clue, it was a calculus calculation. 
Now, I, I know calculus is about like finding minimum and maximum values. So I was like, okay, this has to be maximum, but then I ran into the problem that I'd put down abyss, but I left it as maximus. I was like, maybe this is a, like some weird technical, like Latin term for some specific thing in, or, or like maybe it's a fancy way of saying maximum. So I just left it as maximus. And then I finished the puzzle and it kept telling me, oh no, you've made a mistake somewhere. You've made a mistake somewhere. And I had no idea what I'd done wrong. And then when I was almost ready to give up, I looked at this clue, bottomless pit. And you can see the actual answer is abyssum and not abyss. And the, in hindsight, it makes sense because we do have an adjective abysmal and that adjective abysmal is based on this this word there's another adjective abyssal which is based on abyss but that one is also like so again the blog pointed out that it's we it's interesting because we have the word abyss and we have the adjective abysmal but then we don't use abysm, which is what abysmal is based on, and we don't use abyssal, which is what abyss w would turn into if we made an adjective out of it. So that was an interesting clue. But anyway, that's all about, you know, the words. That's a whole interesting rabbit hole we could go down. But I mentioned earlier that it was pure dumb luck that led to me solving the puzzle. So I was like, maybe, maybe... I've gotten this wrong because uh, I was like, maybe it is maximum, maybe this word is wrong. But I wasn't thinking of abysm because I, it just didn't even register to me that this might be a word. So instead, I was like, maybe it's chasm because that keeps this part of it correct. Um, source of unwanted unwant bugs, obviously it's a spy because, you know, a spy planting bugs, that kind of thing. But I thought maybe it could be spa, like, maybe there are bugs in spas, or maybe they're talking about, like, some region... L-A-H wouldn't make a lot of sense as a place where a cure might be discovered, but I don't think I'd even looked at, you know, like, these other clues. I was like, maybe it's chasm. And I was like, okay, let's put that in, see what happens. It was a long shot anyway. But instead of putting in chasm from, you know, the start of the word to the end, I was like, let's remember, it started out as this being abyss, A-B-Y-S-S. And I was already on this corner, so I was like, let's, I'll put in the M first and then A-H-C. And as soon as I put in the M, it told me the puzzle was solved. And it, it actually freaked me out a little bit because I was not expecting the puzzle to be solved. Had I put it in the other way around, then this clue would have been correct. Like, uh, then, yeah, maximum would have been correct, but then a bunch of other things would have been wrong. And then I would have been like, oh no, it probably was abyss. And if once again, I'd put in the word abyss in like the wrong order, it wouldn't have given me the completed puzzle because for it to give me the completed thing like at one point in time all of the answers need to be correct you can't you know mess some of them up and then be like oh you know if you average it out they're all no it has to be all correct in one go so the only reason i got it was because i, st I started changing abyss to chasm starting at the back if I hadn't done that, probably the streak would have ended, and I'm not actually sure how I would have even addressed that. Because normally I don't expect the streak to be under threat from a Wednesday, but this was just a, such a frighteningly difficult Wednesday. And like even the things that weren't uh, causing like this issue, like the other parts of the puzzle were also pretty tough. Like end of an ultimatum 
this is like a Saturday level clue because it's referring to or oh, like do this or else. But that's a, like a very obscure way of uh, cluing that. And uh, balloon clued as swell. Uh, to God in French is adieu. I, I guess this one you can kind of see. Um, LGA, like a random airport code that I'm... Uh, another thing <laughs> that I don't really know much about. Yeah, so this puzzle was... Yeah, I, again, I got so lucky <laughs> with putting in the M for us because if I, if I hadn't, I would have never known that this is the answer and I would have still never known where the mistake was. What I probably would have done is, at that point, I would have started recording and said, okay, this is Wednesday. Tragically, I think the streak is about to end. And then what you do is... Uh, we, well, we can't do it right now, but we can pro... I'll show you... I'll open up the uh, the mini and I'll show you. Because one thing you can do is you can reveal answers. And you can reveal the entire puzzle. You can also check answers that you've put and it'll tell you whether you've got them right or not. Yeah, I think this will be... It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Embedded... Embed... Inlay... It's gonna be a yak. Really reek. It's gonna be stink. At a, what? Quaint worker at a prowling for no, no idea. Um. It's gonna be KFC. Probably. Maybe. No. Wait. Oh, it's uh, nits. Trixie is gonna be sly. Oh no 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 no. Flail. Tr. Oh, Carney. And, you know, so what I, you saw, like, you know, like, check and reveal and all those things. So what I would have done is I would have had to just start recording. And what a, what a bleak day that would have been is I record an episode in the middle of the week on a Wednesday just to tell you that the streak is about to end up. Oh. This is not what I wanted to open up. This was the puzzle that nearly killed the streak. Yeah. So luckily that didn't happen. But yeah. I just wanted to share this with you. And with that, we've been going almost an hour. I think it is time to uh, draw this episode to a close. So I'm just going to say uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you had a good time. Hope yeah, your own puzzle solving uh, is going well. Hope your streak, is, you know, lasts well, well into the future. Hope you have a great uh, rest of your evening or rest of your day whenever you're watching that. And I hope to see you in the next episode as well. And until then, take care.